Okay, so we're gonna go over how to rebuild one of our Hydromax hydraulic throw up bearings. So it's pretty simple. All you need is our seal kit. As you see here, these are the new seals. And we got O-rings for the fittings. And we have some DOT3 brake fluid. You wanna use only DOT3. Don't use grease or anything like that. So Kurt's gonna pop the bearing apart and we'll go through it step by step here. It's really quick. So you can pop the sleeve out and you need a little uh, hook pick tool. And you just wanna pop this seals out of there. These are the two seals on the inside of the bearing. Being careful not to scratch the surfaces in there when you're doing it, just pull it out gently, as he's doing. Putting the new ones in. Now you take a little brake fluid, put them on the O-rings like so. Pop your sleeve back in, put some fluid on it. And then you have the uh, rubber O-ring on the inside. We'll get to that in a second. We're gonna do the little fittings. <laughs> it's okay. So there's the O-rings for the fittings. You don't necessarily have to change these if it's not if you don't have any leaks, but while you've got it apart, you might as well. These can be a little more tedious to get off. Again, more brake fluid. Can get this entire seal kit off our website at americanpowertrain.com as well and we'll have the video link on the product page for that and how to do this so what is that fitting size kurt half inch half inch Right now, we're going to take, there's a rubber uh, <clears throat> O-ring on the inside, and what that's for is it rides on the uh, bearing retainer on the transmission. It doesn't seal anything, but it provides some cushion for the uh, bearing sleeve. You want to put some brake fluid on that as well and pop that O-ring in. It's a different size than the other O-rings, so don't mix them up. It's pretty easy to tell which one's which. And that's all there is to it. If you need any more information, go to AmericanPowerTrain.com or give us a call. Thank you.